the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore. Well, there are so many things that I think uh, the average everyday citizen just doesn't know about the Community Foundation. One is the way it touches the people in their neighborhood, their community, but also the way it provides them with the opportunity to make that difference. The thing that amazed me when I first started learning about the Community Foundation was you don't have to be rich and famous to be a member. <laughs> you can make a difference. You can establish uh, uh, an endowment, a donor-directed fund. And my family did this many years ago. And we certainly are not rich, <laughs> nor are we famous. But we wanted to find a way to honor the memory of our father. And what better way than to establish a fund that will go on forever? that will provide a legacy to his, his memory and do things in the community that he would have done would he have been here. And I think one of the proudest moments of our lives was when we could take uh, a distribution from that endowment and use it towards the purchase of a vehicle for Meals on Wheels. So every day when that the vehicle travels around delivering meals to, uh, to needy persons here on the Lower Shore, I feel like a, a bit of my father's spirit is there because indeed he was a kind and giving person and he would have loved to know that uh, the endowment was there doing good in the community after he was gone. And I think that's one of the biggest things people uh, need to know. With just a little bit of planning, you can leave a legacy, you can establish an endowment, or you can contribute to one that's already here. I have been involved with the Community Foundation many years, but both professionally and personally. On a professional basis, the Community Foundation has assisted MAC many, many times with a variety of different projects. MAC or Maintaining Active Citizens is the Erie Agency on Aging for the Lower Eastern Shore of Maryland. We've been around since 1972. We provide a diverse array of services to older persons and, and their families, uh, services that many people are instantly familiar with, like Meals on Wheels. Other services that people may not know about, like the Long-Term Care Ombudsman, uh, where we investigate complaints or, or grievances on behalf of residents of long-term care facilities. Many years ago, we came to the Community Foundation with a dream, with a vision, and we didn't know how to make that possible, and that vision was to have a multi-purpose senior facility located in Salisbury that would serve the Lower Shore, and we just didn't know how to go about putting the funding together. Uh, through the Community Foundation, we were able to obtain a small grant through the Community Needs Program, and today, we're sitting in a state-of-the-art facility that is certainly one of the best on the East Coast and continues to grow. That could never have happened without the Community Foundation. There are so many things that people don't know about the, the Community Foundation, so many things that, that you do for, for nonprofits. So I can start with education. Uh, you provide educational opportunities for our staff where we may not have the funds to pay for that technical training they need, you're there to assist us. You provide uh, training for our boards, you know, how to be a good board member. Uh, you help us recruit volunteers through Sure Can. You assist us with uh, looking at other grant opportunities uh, through your nonprofit center. The Community Foundation has tremendous relationships with businesses and potential donors in the community. And the Community Foundation is able to connect our nonprofit with donors who are interested in, in missions like ours. Uh, where we may not be able to make that contact, you can bring the two together and good things happen. I think one of the most important things that nonprofits are not aware of you don't have to be a big nonprofit organization to benefit from what the Community Foundation has. Probably just the opposite. I've seen over the years where you've reached out to the smaller emerging nonprofits and really helped them build their, their infrastructure, making it a better community for everyone. 
The Community Foundation literally allows one to plant seeds for good. Whether you're an organization or an individual, from an organizational point of view, we received a, a grant through the Community Foundation for our therapy garden, our cancer fighting garden. So you come out to our senior center and you will see, see people, cancer survivors, planting seeds for their personal good. And it has been tremendous. So just as we sow seeds in that garden, people can sow seeds in the community with their donations to the foundation. Planting seeds for good in our community. Visit cfes.org or call 410-742-9911.